It's your girl Nasty Kibiki, and you're now watching Alter Daily. <laughs> I got my name from a song by Sababi called Titanoboa. So so the lyrics go, Lil Baby So Nasty So Icky Vicky. And so from there, I was like, that's catchy as f. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, Nasty Icky Vicky. And that's how I changed my name. I think I'm going to stick to Nasty Icky Vicky. But. When it's time to rebrand, I'm not gonna go too far. I think I would take your suggestion and go to Sticky Vicky or something in that area because at the end of the day, nowadays, people think my name is actually Vicky. If you're talking about new thing, I guess expressing yourself is a new thing because a few years back, like everybody had to be a certain type of way or if you were, you know, even slightly drifting away from that, you were considered like weird or like people were judging you and all of that. And I feel like nowadays, like people are less afraid to express themselves, mm -hmm. and that's where like all these names come from, like Nasty Kiviki, I Love Makone, Juice World, uh, XXX Tentacion, you know? Yeah, I'm half Nigerian, half French, but I basically grew up in Nigeria, so I'm in Nigeria, people don't try me. Oui, je sais que j'ai la danse, mais la danse est à 7 heures et demie. Je vais rejoindre maman directement là-bas. I pretty much took a gap here because I didn't really know what I wanted to do per se. But now I've been here, I've been designing, creative directing, styling, you know, all of that, all of that. So yeah, now I definitely know for sure that I'm going to go into fashion school. And during my gap year so far, I have a job. I have like a 9 to 5 type job. But it's not, actually it's not 9 to 5 per se because it's in the fashion industry still. You know, I work for XI Clover. Shout out to them. And yeah, I design for them, creative direct, style, all of it. So yeah, it's been a really great opportunity. I definitely learned a lot and I'm still learning more. It's vibes, I can't lie, it's vibes. Um, every day is different, Yeah. you know? Sometimes like it's just like we having mad fun in the office. And then other days like it's serious because we have like an upcoming event or we have people come to use our space. So yeah, every day is different. I just launched my new collection today in collaboration with XI. So and this is my first thing ever. My first collaboration ever, my first designs I'm putting out there. So yeah, definitely coming up. Keep an eye out, keep an ear out. We coming for the next, you know. Applying serious pressure, <laughs> we're not backing down, Never. you know. And if they accept us, they accept us. If they don't, then we're gonna keep pushing regardless because somebody about to accept us eventually. Kalai, we're doing some high end. Sh so if you're about to, you know, you need to be ready to okay. drop the same price range as XII. Because even XII, like most people be comparing, look on the low key, most people be comparing their quality to like off-white if I'm being serious like dead ass like we have people tell us that oh your quality is so good it's like off-white and all of that and I feel like as long as you have the quality to be honest you can name any price you want 12 Guava is actually a mall okay so it's a bunch of brands there's um sophomore cafe that's run by native um there's a toy store and there's lash lounge all of that so that's 12 Guava XII is yes. the brand by itself and most of my clothes are actually menswear and it's just because I don't know I guess I don't really like fitted stuff per se not because like I'm insecure or whatever just because I like people to like assume things about me and I prove them wrong mm. which also goes with like my name Nasty Wiki Wiki like you think like I'm some kind of like popping person whatever I'm actually really shy and I keep to myself a lot. I'm not nasty at all. Uh, Only if you get to know me, but. <laughs> Damn! Uh, I mean, if you know how to dress, you know, you can <laughs> holler at me or whatever. <laughs> people that inspire you, what could you say? Billy Eilish. Just because, like, I feel like she's kind of like on the same wave in the sense that she be dressing like really oversized and shit. And people don't really know how she looks per se, like body wise. Um, ugly worldwide. Yeah. Not many people know her. Her, her real name is Giselle. Um, 
I don't know. She's just really fun to follow on Instagram. She be coming up with different types of looks. She's not conforming to society. She's just doing her own thing. My love, hundred percent. Um, that's a really good question. Uh, that's a luck. Um, yeah. I used to paint, I used to draw. I mean, that was some high school stuff. Like, I had to do that. But um, I'm definitely uh, I'm definitely musically inclined. I listen to a lot of music. But then the thing is, growing up with, because I'm, I grew up with a lot of boys around me. Oh, really? Yeah, because I have three older brothers. I couldn't tell. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, but um, I grew up with a lot of boys, so like it's always been like rap, rap, trap, all of that, all of that. So I've been on that way for since I was small. Like even when I didn't necessarily like music like that, I was in the car. My brothers were playing like J Cole, Kendrick Lamar, and all that, and like it was on black. And I just had to, it just had to enter my system. So I've been on all that rap, trap, wave, hip hop, all of that. And yeah, so now that's pretty much all I listen to. Uh, I'm a huge Rema stand, I can't lie. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, lie. Me too. Uh, that boy has no misses. No Everything misses. Everything is fire. Everything is a jam. Like, that guy's too hard. The guy's too hard. I don't know how he does it, you know. I know Everything I've appeals to the crowd, to the masses, you know, just giving us banga back to pack. DBN, Don Papi, you know, shout in, that's my bro. For real, um, Lucid, Lucid 1800. I feel like not many people know about him, but that guy, like, trust me. When I say he's coming for people's necks, he's coming for people's necks. Obviously, Mason 2500, um, DND section for sure. Um, you had around my age group, right? Yeah, just a, just a I was about to say Santi, but like, that's, that's not really around my age group. Yeah. But um, yeah, OG Caesar. That's one guy that I strongly believe in. I don't know if he's younger than me or he's my age, but he's definitely on something right now. He's definitely coming with the heat. Um, Jay Finesse. <laughs> Jay Finesse. He literally just started this year, but like I've been hearing his music and he's definitely, definitely. Coming for the grand prize. <laughs> when he says streetwear is dead, yeah. I think he's referring more to like the word streetwear. Yeah. Because he, there's like some interview, I can't remember what exactly, but he said that basically he didn't really like like classifying his work as like streetwear. Yeah. And yeah, so I think the term streetwear yeah. is what he's referring to as opposed yeah. to like the actual like clothes. I mean, this year, from what I've seen so far, mm. fashion is like, is more like led by the youth. And I don't feel like it's going in any specific direction. I just feel like it's more like people expressing themselves. If you feel like it's right, then put it out there. Because at the end of the day, like, whoever is ready to accept you will accept you. And you don't necessarily need to please the masses. You can have like a niche um, audience and that's fine because if you're successful there, eventually people will get to know about you. It's Nasty Yubiki, on est là, on vient qu'à avec le smoke, you know. Yeah, you're watching All Ted Daily et on va au niveau supérieur, toujours, forever and always. The Alternative Network.